Happy Monday, you lovely lot. Won't be Monday when this goes up here, Saturday, but it is Monday, the 15th of January, and you are joining us, my wife and I, hello wife, Hi. on a lovely adults only trip because we've not come with our kids, um, and we're at Disney World. So uh, if you've not been following along, hello, uh, I'm Keith, this is Tracy, hello. my wife. Um, and we are currently on a two week holiday. We've had seven nights at um, Port Orleans Riverside, which we loved. How nice was that? It was beautiful, really loved it. Yeah, that is we'll definitely a- Definitely go back there. Yeah, 100%. Fault, pretty much faultless. Tiny little issue with the room's noise, but don't let that put you off. It is a 10 out of 10 resort. So we've had seven nights there. And then we went to see our lovely friends in Tampa, which was fantastic, just doing like, stuff that normal people do. We went to a place called Ebor, um, which is like a cigar district in Tampa, which was fascinating. Um, and we just hung out, which has been lovely. And now we have just checked into Disney's All-Star Music Resort. Um, and first impressions? So far, so good, really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is smaller um, and quaint. Quaint is the word I've actually yeah. come up with, I think, today. It's quaint. There's a lot more green space and nice areas for seating as we were walking to find the room that I wasn't expecting. Um, and the room's good, you know, it's very similar in style to the refurb rooms at Pop. I think it's a tiny bit smaller. Yeah. That might just be an optical illusion because the decor's slightly different, but yeah, this will do us fine for a few nights. Yeah, my, my immediate impression, walking through the gates, our lovely friends have dropped us off, um, which was super kind of them. Um, so, but my immediate thoughts, walking into reception were, Meh. I just thought, um, okay, I'm not sure. And um, because you walk in, it, it did look slight, it didn't look tired, but the it, styling looks a little bit yeah, dated. It's the updated bits of the reception area, but the, they are older hotels, um, and they've probably been the last on the list to get a little bit of Disney love, and you can tell that a little bit. But, and the reception area is quite small, which I wasn't expecting. Um, but actually, it's been great. The cast member, every cast member we've come across, uh, that's what <laughs> I we got here. That's what I was just. That's what I was just about to say. As you um, come in, I was just a bit like, um, okay, it, it, it's as Tracy said, feels a bit smaller. And then all of a sudden, we were greeted by the amazing Lana, and he just ten out of ten, absolutely took us all the way through it. You know, we know what we're doing, but he was just amazing. And the, and also, it's uh, coming up for twelve o'clock. Our room's ready, so that's amazing. Uh, we were given a map. You know, we're not map readers. Uh, we got a little bit lost, and as we were looking, walking around, some other cast member, um, what's his name, Dana? Casey. Casey. Casey shouted out, are you guys okay? And we're like, yeah, we think so. He said, let me come and check. And we were, we were going in the wrong direction. Casey then personally escorted us all the way to where we needed to be. So, and as you're walking around the resort, it does have that slap you around the chops Disney feel, similar to Pop Century. Oh yeah, there's this oversized, Cowboy, we're in the country music section. Yeah. So it's oversized cowboy, but it's outside our, But yeah, that's that's Disney. Um, but yeah, it's got a real, there's lots of, lots of trees. There's lots of like like woody type areas, which is really nice. Yeah. This is only the bit we've seen, we'll explore a bit more, but more than I expected yeah. to, to find here. So, yeah, we've, we've yeah. walked past the pool, we've walked past some of the buildings. It feels 100% Disney. It actually feels even more Disney because it, you can just feel like this when this resort was released it must have been groundbreaking like with all of the the stuff um and the area that we were in which is the country area i've not seen any pictures of that before so obviously we'll show you over the next few days um because it looks amazing and yeah i'm super happy so i'm going to show you the room so you come through the door oh um housekeeping is every other day but you've got you got this thing, I don't want to say its name because it will get all confused and start ordering stuff that we don't want or need. But you can, on the days you don't get housekeeping, you can order towels and put requests in for that. So we might try that out. We, you know, we might. Um, this is Eddie, the Murphy bed. So that pulls down. Um, I'm trying to get out of shop, it's a small room wherever I go, I'm kind of in the shop. Yeah, get out my shots. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if we're going to use that or not. I, yeah, we might use that because I, you know, I love you, but it was it's nice. Like spread, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's spread out. So we've got a coffee area here with an under counter fridge. So coffee machine, little drawer, um, nice big telly, and extra pillows. Got your safe in there. Nice big safe that. Obviously, table and chairs, bedside cabinet, and 
USB and plug points. Um, same on the other side, lovely Disney details. I'm not seeing these, I think these are slightly different design than the ones at Pop Century. I'm not sure. And the bathroom, oi oi. Um, so yeah, you've got a hairdryer. You've got, um, this is actually Nicholas's Cage, Nick Cage's favorite hairdryer. Um, and you've got ironing board storage there. Yeah, it's got everything you need. And all super clean and tidy. Nice shower door. I love it. So we have got, as a loose plan for today, we've got um, park reservations for Epcot. I think we're gonna spend 20 minutes in here getting settled. Um, and we're going for dinner at Disney Springs tonight, which I'm super excited about because we are going to... Summer House on the Lake, the new restaurant that opened in December. I think it was no, late November, early December. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to that. Yeah, All right. We're gonna get unpacked, head out. Half past 12, kind of unpacked what we needed to pack. Tracy lost her glasses and found them. Good job, Trace. <laughs> Bit of panic, but it's all right. <laughs> uh, one of the things that we do every trip, um, especially, well, when we go to Epcot. At Epcot, they've got the, uh, <laughs> excuse me, the World Showcase. So they have different countries representing like their culture and what have you. So when you go to the UK pavilion, um, generally it'll be people from UK out there on a, like a year's uh, contract and I'd love to do that. I think it'd be mega. Um, but I also think it would be difficult as well because hospitality is really difficult, even in Disney. Um, and I just like the idea of taking something to them. And if someone's having a bit of an average day, it might make it a bit brighter. And the one thing, you can get most stuff like from the UK here, but the one thing that we take are Percy Pigs. Percy Pigs. So it's very British, M&S, what's more British than that? Yeah, so we're putting them in a little bag and we're going to take them to the Rose and Crown. However, we tried every way that we could. Every, it was like Jenga, we just couldn't fit this bag in. So, we're going to eat it. Take a picture of your room number, just in case, I've done that. Lots of little theming bits and this is, they're doing a house, well, housekeeping at the moment. But I wasn't expecting this, I wasn't expecting it to be so Woody. It's lovely. Look at everything that's changed door. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, it's really cool. Good vibes. Right, let's go and have a wander. We're going to um, get a bite to eat and then head to Epcot. The stairs here. Okay. Also, a little warmer today, which is nice because it's been a chilly weekend. It was chilly and a bit wet last week. Um, so yeah, it's nice that the the sun has kind of got his hat on. So we're in the Country and Western building. Uh, so there's Country and Western music being piped everywhere, but I've not seen ever any pictures of this area. And obviously we had a look around before, and we have been coming here for a little while. But yeah, you got cowboy boots, you got like, are they called bolo ties? You got a fiddle, banjo, this whole wooded area. It is absolutely awesome. I'm kind of getting the feeling that I'm going to find it difficult to get my bearings around this. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of like help, I'm lost. Um, this is the piano pool and our building is just behind that one. But, have a look. It's awesome. Right, yeah, let's go and get some food. So first impressions, obviously there's a bit of it like construction going on, however, that's going to happen anytime you're here. But look, you've got like this whole street bit as well, it's lovely. And that's the piano pool. Obviously, I think this is like one of the quieter pools. And when we did check in, our lovely cast member did say we were in a quieter area. And there is a, um, a cheerleading convention going on, so might not be a bad thing. I just made a really nice friend talking about American football. Really lovely man. But this is like our first look at the pool and the resort. And the maracas! <laughs> Everybody's really happy here. It's very chilled. Right. Every, every customer, every cast member, <laughs> it's just like everybody's super happy. And come on. Oh, look at this. Pan pipes. This is, I'm um, really, like first impressions, and we've only been here a couple of hours. But yeah, very impressed. And around the pool at certain times of the day, mainly around the main pools, the cast members put on activities, so there's some kids and games going on, probably a few prizes and quizzes, so there's loads to do. And there's a nice outside bar, but I would kind of say this building just looks slightly dated, but all clean and tidy, and like, 
lovely, but you know, it's just an older building. This is a first look at the food hall. It's half past 12 or quarter to one. Nice and quiet. Right, let's go and get some lunch. So there's like a dessert section with ice cream sandwiches. There's like a Joffrey's coffee bit there. Create your own entree, so chicken, shrimp, salmon, impossible meatloaf. And then over this bit in the middle, in the market, all the cold offerings like pre-made salads, sandwiches, drinks and that sort of thing. And then over here, you know, all the usual suspects. Uh, chicken strips, impossible burgers, barbecue sandwiches, and there's a pasta bit, meatball sub, mac and cheese topped with beef, pasta and pizza. And yeah, nice. We've just been informed that all the cheerleaders have left. They've been here on a week long, you know, competition, convention. And the man that served us, the young guy was, everybody here seems happy. Um, hey, maybe it's because the cheerleaders are left. They're like, oh, and relax. Um, so this is our lunch. We got turkey and provolone. provolone. Don't know what that is, but it looks nice. And we got some barbecue chips and some mustard and mayo. That came to $14. Um, and we filled our water bottle up um, from by a resort mug so we have got ours with us but on the stations where you fill them up in like the quick service there's a little button that you can push that just dispenses water and it's not swampy so um, we haven't got our resort mug with us that's back in the room because we're heading to the park but we've got our lovely little bottle and he's all filled up now so the sandwich was pretty good everything's a little bit cold like sandwich wise but it was tasty this is like the main building so you've got an arcade in there which looks like quite a big one and this sort of music memorabilia and this is where you check in here so it's quite small toilets straight ahead for transportation and a shop I'm sure we'll be in there in a bit and the buses are all out the front Right, get on our first bus from All Stars. And just like that, we are back at Epcot, our favorite park. Um, and when we were here earlier on in the trip, there was no festival on, but now it's, what is it? Festival of the Arts. Also known as? Arts. <laughs> There's our first look at the Festival of the Arts stuff. We've never done Festival of the Arts. Nope. Nice. So this is the new area that they uncovered recently with the Walt statue, just over the back there. So, it's opened everything right up. Yeah, it's nice not to have all that. Come around the beach, Construction board up. Yeah. There's still a bit more construction going on over the back, over there. But it will be nice when it's all down. I know they're always doing more and more things, but it is lovely when they are uncovered, especially when it's such a nice area as this and as the plants come through and the flowers kick in it's just absolutely lovely so this is our first look at one of the art stalls it's going to be really interesting to see what this festival's like because we've done so many of them but just not this one and they've got all these like photo ops that you can go in so it's that Mary Poppins and what's that one there? Um, not sure. So there's people actually drawing chalk art live. Oh, this is very cool. Did you know um, Run DMC have been down here doing these as well? Yeah. Chalk this way. Chalk this way, walk this way. Oh, it looks fab. Trace, I think there's some entertainment going on over here. Let's go and get some entertainment going. So I think they've got shows going on here throughout the day and a little timetable. It's pretty busy, but this is sort of kind of giving me like farmer's market vibes but with art. It's now $150, which is 
pretty good value. I like this one. Yeah. So I think there's going to be an emphasis on the, the presentation of the food. So there's that dessert there. $5.25. Oh wow. These are so cool. Right, Percy Pig's all dropped off. That was lovely. Of course, yeah, it's really nice. It's getting a bit rainy, so um, I think we're going to go and hop in the line for Ratatouille and just get a bit of cover. I don't really want to wait 105 minutes, but I really want to ride Remy, and I don't want to get wet, so we're going in. <laughs> How long was the queue? Was it meant to be? It's exactly 105 to this point. I, that is mad. That was like 105 on the nail. That's like, I don't know, but it is a good ride. It was wet and horrible. And I was with my mate having a chat. It was nice, wasn't it? It was actually. Yeah. It's quarter past four. It's a little bit drizzly. I'm missing the skyliner if I'm being honest. Lots of very cool Star Wars art around here at the moment. This is really cool. So you got in some of the booths, you've actually got the artists. This guy's working on something as well at the moment. And again, there's lots of sort of Star Wars based stuff, but how cool is that? I really like this. So you've got Slave One, which is his spaceship, and Boba Fett. It's 69.95, I think. Is that, what does that say at the top, or is it 89? Yeah, and it's a uh, limited edition, so that's 25 out of 150. It is really cool. Love it. Everything in here is cool. I mean, look at these. Oh, they're awesome. So I've got a bit of a sweet craving going on. I was sort of feeling like I should get something from one of the Festival of Arts kiosks, but we're going to eat there. We're going to have, we're going to explore the uh, food tomorrow, aren't we? Yes. So I'm going for a school bread. I think, for me, school bread is the best thing to eat at Epcot. You've discovered it and it's just your thing, isn't it? It's just, it's just the best thing. So if you're after school bread, this is the place. Forget what everyone's saying about Gideon's. Gideon's is great, but this stuff is incredible. The school bread is like, as we walked in here, my mouth started watering. It's $4.79 and it's incredible. Right, I asked the lovely cast member what her favorite was. She guaranteed it was, her favorite is school bread as well, but take a look. Everything looks incredible in here. We've been here before. This is our favorite spot. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school break right. day. Are you going to have a bite? Yeah. You, but you want me to get to the good stuff first, yeah, don't you? Yeah, I want to bite that's got the custody bit in the middle. Okie doke. I asked the uh, other lovely cast member when I was paying as well. I said, what's your favourite? And she like, didn't even blink. School bread. So, um, yeah. It's really right. So it's like a sweet bun. It's got custard in it and it's dipped in coconut. And I've got it on my nose. So there we go, that'll give you an idea. 
of the amount of squidge that's inside that. It's epic. School bread sent down the range. Now we are heading on to frozen 60 minute wait. Such a cool area around here. Oh no, it's just going up 70 minutes. Oh, still a cool area though. So this is what the inside of the queue line looks like. It's really nice. Lovely lanterns, nice vibes. Very jaunty music. Let it go, let it go. You'll never see me cry. <laughs> right, we're about five minutes from loading. How long? I don't think it's been 35 minutes. Yeah, so it seems like it's been gonna be an hour, so that's good. Yeah, really good. We're going to have to talk over the music, otherwise we'll get a copyright. But we're about to go backwards now, and it's so cool! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> As you might expect, Alexa into a shop, lots of frozen stuff. Aww. That would be a bold shirt, wasn't it? It's like the cover up. Yeah. It's a beach cover up. <laughs> so I've got very uh, wet legs. They're not super wet, but um, fear not. I'm currently wearing Billabong Crossfire shorts. They're like swimming shorts, but they look like fancy shorts. So I'm going to be dry in no time whatsoever. Who would have thought? thought? <laughs> you got this very cool troll in here. He's awesome. It's quarter to six. We got dinner at half eight. Is that right? No, eight o'clock. Eight, oh, eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, so we're going to head down to the boardwalk, which is one of the resorts that you can access through International Gateway. And then what we're going to do? Gonna get a bus to do this thing. Nice. This looks really lovely. So we're gonna head out of International Gateway. So if you're at Epcot, go past the England Pavilion, so fish and chips on the right. No, left, and it's the next turning on the right. And if you're coming from the other way, well, basically it's in between England and France. So if you're staying on any of the Skyliner resorts, this is where you would em enter Epcot. It's a really nice way to get in there rather. I way prefer this entrance. Yes, I yeah. like coming this way better. Yeah, it's much nicer. So yeah, we're gonna head down to Boardwalk, get the bus. We're heading down International Gateway. It's actually Yacht and Beach Club that we're gonna get yeah, the bus sorry, from. sorry, I've got my, got, got my resorts muddled <laughs> up. I think you can do it from there as well. It's further to walk around, so yeah. we get to the Yacht and Beach Club first, so that would make sense to do it from there. What a lovely resort. Yeah, you get to check out this incredible resort too, and a lovely view across the lake. There's even like a, a little beach area to sit out here as well. And this is literally six or seven minute walk from Epcot. You can just come down here and have a stroll around. It's gorgeous. Pretty fancy wife. <laughs> it's pretty fancy, isn't it? Yeah. It smells so good in here. Anyway, we're just whizzing through to the bus stop.
Oi, oi. And as you come out of the lobby area, do a left and walk down to the bus stop. So yeah, uh, Disney Springs, magic. That took about three minutes waiting for that bus. Don't know if it's picking it up, but the sky over there is amazing. We're at the Springs. That was well easy. It was easy. Yeah. Very lucky. The bus turned up within four minutes and was getting to the bus stop. I was just saying to Trace, either we have been really, really lucky, or the bus transportation has really stepped up a bit because we've been so lucky, haven't we? Yeah, maybe because it's slightly quieter time of year, and the demographic of people, but there haven't been as many of the um, electric scooters that only get on the buses this time. Yeah. So but yeah, it's been epic. So we've got a little bit of shopping to do, like presents for the kids back at home. Guess this is this is how you know when you're old. Because your kids are asking for socks to be brought back. There's a shop here called Stance. They do really, really good socks. And Luke and Daisy have both asked for socks. So here we go, Stance is just next to Super Dry, which is along from Ron John's. So they just have like the coolest socks and every time we've been in here, there has been a sale on, which is good. But don't tell the kids. We don't want them to know that we're buying them discounted socks. Sales Ahoy in Stance and the service in there is always, always, Eric's server was, he was amazing. They're always really good at letting you know what the offers are and sort of telling you if you, you can get the best deal. Um, yeah, really helpful. Yeah, so uh, socks for the kids. Socks for the kids. So although the weather hasn't been, you know, overly great, the crowd levels at Disney Springs have been awesome. Yeah, it's been much more uh, manageable to navigate your way around. <laughs> Because Disney Springs can feel a bit like a, a hectic park at some point. Um, we're about an hour early for our dinner. So we're gonna go and head over to the hangar bar and get a treat, a treaky, a cheeky drink. Not a bad little table. So this is the hangar bar. You can have drinks on the boat and they do like small plates and nice drinks. And a great view and great vibes. Well, how nice is this? Got my beautiful wife there with a cocktail. What have you gone for? A wrong island. Wrong island. I think it's the closest thing to Long Island iced tea. Nice. And I've gone for an antidote, which is Sprite and Cherry. And we've got some live music going on there as well. So there we go. A cocktail and a mocktail was just over twenty dollars. So, um, and we're going to leave a tip as well. Lovely service, but yeah, not super cheap, but was a cocktail. So as you leave down a little sidewalk, there's like a stage and live music. Everybody sat out and they were playing uh, You've Got a Friend in Me earlier. And Tracy saw all the little kids dancing down here. So cute, but it's just lovely here. Right, so this is it, the summer house. Hope it's warm in there, because it's a bit chilly out here. Hope the aircon's not on full whack. Oh, it's lovely. Super bright, bus for a warm table. So yeah. Oh, I just got a waft of something warm. First impressions, very good. Lovely yeah, stuff. We asked for a warm table because it's freezing, and they made sure we have the summer it's freezing. Yeah. Good light of you as well, you look beautiful. Yeah. I'll sit here all holiday. <laughs> so you got some specials on there. Server's been over, she's lovely, super helpful. It's a bit fancy, you got a wine pairing with it. So here's the menu, hopefully this is all focused for you. But yes, nice and lively. Good atmosphere. Our server is so lovely. Um, and because it's all ordered unlike a palm, Palm Pilot or a PDQ. We ordered the deviled eggs to try. And they arrived before she even left the table. Before she'd finished taking our main order, the eggs arrived. People, we are living in the future. It's unbelievable. So this is one thing that apparently they're quite famous for, which is the potato salad deviled eggs, which is why I thought it would be really nice to try them. So we share them. Yeah, but... Well, but no, it's free, so that's going to be really good. <laughs> 
and uh, Tracy's ordered a glass of wine and I have ordered another mocktail. I'm pushing the boat out tonight. I've gone for a pineapple kick, which is uh, pineapple juice and jalapeno agave syrup. I've, uh, I did mine in a wana, like an amuse-bouche. Lovely, right? Yeah, good. Right, the wine comes in a little carafe, which is really cute. Yeah, and I've gone for, yeah, here's my pineapple drink. That's really good. Oh, it's spicy. I knew it'd have like a kick because it's got the jalapeno, but yeah. Yeah, how's your wine? That is service in here is lovely. Everybody was coming over super nice. Food came out super quick. I have gone for the fish tacos. And Tracy has gone for... Barbecue salmon. And it can just come with grits normally, but they offered mashed potatoes, so I kind of got... I kind of like grits, but I'm not so sure, so I went with mashed potatoes. Nice. And as I'm leaning over filming this, I'm getting this amazing smell from my tacos. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Music's cool in here. Yeah, it's lovely. My fish and tacos are amazing, and I've finished off traces as well. The vibe in here is really nice. You sort of sat here bobbing your head. The food's great, our server is wonderful. Um, and because it's got like that Californian vibe, I kind of feel healthy, but the pudding menu's coming out, so that may change. Here is the pudding menu. We're being good. The school bread was my pudding. <laughs> <laughs> you up on school yeah, Schoolboy era. So there we go. The total was we got a DVC discount or an annual pass discount would work as well, so that was ten dollars off. So there we go, and our server was really really good. So it is pricey, but it is good. But not massive. Well your portion was pretty big, wasn't it? Yeah. I feel pretty healthy now. Yeah. I feel good about myself. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't go you for a good choices. Yeah, I'm glad we were like grown ups. I'm glad I didn't go for a pud. Yeah. Um, it's worth mentioning that when we were asking our server what she would recommend, we were like Tom for the dishes. The people talking the tacos and the cheeseburger. She did say that they have some people who very much only been open just over a month. People have come back for their third visit just for cheeseburgers and they're just ordering a cheeseburger every time. So. Yeah. I'm going cheeseburger next time, but mine was lovely. But yeah, really, really good. Thank you very much. You too. Little merch shop as well. Very nice. Oh, Yeti merch. Yeti merch. Nice. Right, that was mega. Really, really good. Really lovely. Uh, Splitsville, cracking place. Live music quite a lot of the time as well. Surprisingly good sushi, and they show a lot of the sports games as well. So yeah, they got a band playing tonight. Disney Springs is just awesome. So we're right up at the end of Disney Springs. So this is City Works. It's like a sports bar, had cracking meals in there. Cirque du Soleil is there. We saw, is it um, Drawn to Life, the show? Absolutely fantastic. And House of Blues on the end as well. Brilliant food. And also, we'll pop up there now, there's like um, an outdoor seating bit and they normally have like live musicians out there. It's a really lovely place just to grab a drink. The nachos are good. Hang out and listen to some live music. Yeah, it's really, really cool. a live music tonight. Right, we're gonna get the bus back to the resort. Right, we had about a 10 minute wait for that, which is probably our longest wait all holiday and still totally fine. We just got off the bus. Nice bus ride home. But how cool does this look? Yeah, it looks nice all lit up at night. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so when you get a Disney bus back from anywhere at night, they turn the lights off. Oh. When they turn them on, it's just like horrible. It's like, it's like you're being interrogated. 
it's, it's, it's pretty harsh. Ne never gets easier. It's when you see all the little kids that have dozed off, it's just like, oh my god. Right, um, yeah, back at the resort. So here's a look at the shop. Like that. Richie. So. <laughs> Let's have a look at the front. Yeah, I think she's it's like pretty that. busy. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like the sweet, front as it? well, yeah. <coughs> it's got a really good selection in here, actually. It's quite big. Loads of ears. Oh, Is it? Oh, I'm that's not a big lovely. Jumbo fan, but that's in the soft. Yeah, I like this lounge fly. Oh, and I like the uh, All Star branding yeah, as well. Lounge fly, that's nice. That is nice, isn't it? It's really nice. Yep. Oh, they've got loads of lounge flies. Yeah. Good selection. Some pretty crazy shirts, jumpers. Sun cream, if you could. F haven't got your sun cream with you. I do like these ones. I like that one as well. Yeah, I, I like all of them. I like the grey one. Yeah. I like the petrol blue one. Yeah. Got all your swimwear and your sun cream. Loads of pins, lanyards. This is a really good shop. And if you've forgotten, you know. Plasters, combs, razors, cough sweets, toothbrush, all that sort of bits and pieces, snacks as well. Yeah, it's really good. Actually, this is probably it's got more in it than most. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like more oriented towards families because obviously it's the sort of resort that perhaps more families would come to. It's got lots of stuff for kids, and, you know, like, not kids like toys, but like medical stuff for kids like the nappies and yeah. creams and yeah. all the things you need if you've got young children. Yeah. Lots of mugs. We're not getting any more mugs for a while. I do really like that one though. I keep coming back to this one. Oh, and these are the coasters that Tracy's had her eye on. You got your coasters, Trace. Yeah. And your hand pump. That is nice. And they got more like proper toys as well. like the Disney princesses but as almost like a Barbie or that kind of doll that you dress up. Oh like cool. Contemporary contemporary style clothing but still on like, almost like Disney bounding their own princess style. Yeah it's cool. I'd have loved that one. <laughs> Daisy would have loved it as well. Yeah. So this is at the back of the quick serve so there's tons and tons of seating it's really nice. Like this is nice. nice. Yeah. Got a TV down the end. So we got the pool bar there. I think some people are watching the football there. And the pool's all lit up. People still in the pool. What time is it? It is ten to ten. Oh, cowboy time. Ten to ten to ten to ten to. Anyway, um, yeah. All looks lovely. There's definitely some theme in here. Yeah. yeah. Different areas are themed to different pieces of all-star music. Different areas are themed to different styles of music. So this is the jazz bit. We're in the country music bit. So we'll explore more of it tomorrow. Yeah. This is pretty. Yeah. So this is like the Broadway area. So you got stage door there. We got music being pumped through. I think we're gonna have a wander down this bit. Also, there's like, it's kind of muggy. I think because the pools are quite close by, there's like a weird mist. This does feel a bit like Stranger Things, perhaps. But this area is really cool. This this feels a bit like Hollywood Studios. It does, like yeah. you've got like this roadway, top hats and bow ties and canes and like I love how the stairs are hidden in what looks like cinema or theatre screens.
Yeah, this is. This is cool. So I think these are like oh amps. So these these will hide similar to a pop. So you've got Rubik's cubes obscuring or, or covering the stairwells. So we've got some amps on this one. This is obviously the rock, the rock area. Because you've got your guitars. On the left is the piano bar. See how misty it is? What? I think that's a harmonica. Is it? Yeah. Is it a microphone? No, harmonica. I'm certain. I'm not certain. I'm pretty confident. And now we're back in our bit, which is the country bit. Which I think is the best bit. Oh, I like it, yeah. Yeah, it definitely feels like it, it's the newest bit. Or the most sort of current. But yeah, I really like it. And you've got like this wooded area here and picnic tables. And yeah, very happy. And massive cowboy boots. And massive cowboy boots, obviously. Seen the Mickey on the back. Yeah. It does look a bit eerie over there, like through the trees I and with all the mist. Yeah. This is the Murphy bed and you can do it with one hand. It's a really good it's a it's an amazing design actually because it seems pretty sturdy. I've never slept in one of these, but Daisy has and said it was very good. Oh, chair in the wrong way. Uh, so you've got a nice bit of art work there with the uh, Huey, Dewey and Louie. Let's get that chair out of the way. All clear. Yep. So yeah, full size proper bed. All made up, ready to race. A whole bunch of pillows. Um, can't wait to explore a bit more tomorrow, but first impressions? Yeah, it's kind of, it isn't, it's no Port Orleans. Yep. But it's actually pretty good, I think, value wise, considering what we're paying. And if you just want a Disney experience, yeah, and all the benefits of staying on resort for a value price, it's kind of budget Disney. Yeah, pretty impressed so far. So Sorry. pretty impressed so far. So we will, um, you know, explore a bit more tomorrow. Thank you so much for following along with us today. Um, yeah, it's been a really, really good day. So stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, is.